everyone, welcome to a video brought to you by the Virtual Robot Simulator team. Today we'll be going over how to use our VRS application, including how it can be opened or downloaded, how to use our programming interface, and how to set up your own tournament with multiple players. Starting out over on our website here, www.vrobotsim.org, we can either open the simulator up on our website by clicking on this button for easy use, or instead download it using this button. And here we are, the massively created FTC Local Simulator. Let's quickly open up Autonomous and run over some of the controls here. Over here on the left is the widely used block programming language. On the top are all the controls for the field and the programs. And on the right here is some useful panels and the field where you can find your robot. Starting with the blocks here, I'm going to create a quick move forward and turn program. Perfectly crafted. As we can see, when I hit initialize and start, it moves forward and rotates. But I don't want to recreate this program every time I open this simulator up, so be sure to save your program. I'll name mine Hello World, and then upon refreshing the site, I can access this dropdown and find my Hello World program. Some other useful features here is that with this lessons panel, it gives you some excellent lessons curated for beginners to advance. And the other feature I'd like to mention is everything in the new program button, which allows you to 1. Access some sample programs, 2. Upload a .blk block file that has been downloaded onto your computer, which gives you the ability to essentially transfer block programs across simulators, or even between FTC and this simulator. And 3. This last button here provides you the ability to convert your block programs into a Java program, so you can get used to seeing how your programs will look in Java. Alright, now let's go back to the main menu and test out some driver controlled Telia. For the ability to control your robot, it'd be preferable to use some type of controller. Any is allowed as long as it connects to your computer, and for a quick setup, let's select single player. Here's a control scheme here. You can move around with the joysticks with the added ability to shoot by holding left trigger to rev up the shooter and pressing right trigger to launch the rings. We can go ahead and intake some more rings with the B button and running into them here. And we also even have the ability to lift up a wobble goal by holding the right bumper on the controller and putting the wobble goal right up in front of our robot. Now we can drop it into its scoring place for endgame. Great, now that we're familiar with the controls, we can go ahead and hit play in the top left here, and you can see a full game will run with some rings getting returned. Now let's get into the fun part, playing with friends. This is a really simple process that requires just one person or the host, to enter in their name after returning to this menu and selecting multiplayer. Click the right arrow here to switch from join field to create field, and then enter in a field name with the total number of players you will have. Finally hit create. Now everyone else can select multiplayer and look for that field name to join into after entering in their own name of course. Everyone should start appearing on the one field to which some customizations can be set for teams, positions, randomizations, and camera angle. Now the wait is over, go on and hit start and enjoy robots clashing, rings tossed everywhere, and the ultimate race towards rings and wobble goals.